Yeah, we back. 20 minutes shootout the council. It's your boy Lush Life Child. Lush Life underscore child on all social media platforms. Hit the link, subscribe. I'm trying to build my shit up. Y'all know the deal. Yo, um, T Top versus Geechee Gotti, strike 2.5. I know it took me a couple of days to get this shit up. It's just because this battle was so first of all, this was battle of the night. Hands down, no debate, and this was battle of the night. T-Top versus Geechee Gotti was real good, and it was real hard for me to call a winner. And I'm still having trouble with calling a winner. Let me know who y'all had. Let's go through it for the people that ain't see it. When y'all see it, this is the battle you really want to see from this card. It was real dope. It was real, 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 real dope. T-Top, a real nigga. You already know, NWX. Um, Geechee Gotti, Mafia, West Side, real nigga. And uh, let's get into it. Uh, first round, Geechee starts it off. Now, uh, Geechee starts it off with, uh, I thought you was on strike. Nigga, you was a bitch. You already know that shit had the crowd rocking. Yo, Geechee wasn't holding no fucking punches. It looked like he was cool with T-Top. But when this battle started, this shit was on some other shit. Nigga said, I heard you brought your mama to this battle. The only reason you she came because she heard your opponent was dope. Like... Reflect from going to the you know to the uh, angle that uh, T Top mom you know is, is on drugs and shit, and then uh we went to yo nigga said I heard you having a daughter when she come out I'm gonna slap her up, then I'm gonna push her back in the pussy so you ain't gotta pay for a box like that shit was wild disrespectful nigga was that nigga mafia that nigga was violating my nigga like the nigga didn't give a fuck like he was trying to come for the nigga top. The top goes round, run, run, he, run, he flips the, the strike shit. Don't really land like that. Then he goes into, uh, uh, yo, why the Lokes uh, holding out on us? Every time a Crip go in jail, it seems like he comes home out the blue. That that was a hard one. Um, He was just, he had good material and he had the, you know, the veteran presence. That's the only thing Gishi got. He don't got the whole, he's almost there with the veteran presence. But he ain't got it like T-Top. T-Top transitions real smooth in and out of his bars. Then he said, uh, it makes sense why you and Sue always dissing each other. Y'all probably want to battle so y'all can snitch on each other. Like, whew, that was fire. I thought that was dope. Um, Round one is real close, real debatable. I don't care who you got winning either way. I'm not mad at your argument. Um, First round, I'm, I would give probably the T-Top. But Gotti has some crazy shit, too, so I don't know. That shit is real tough to call. So I'm telling you, you're going to have to watch it. I might, I watched it probably three, four times. I got to watch it probably five, six <laughs> times and shit. Fuck it. That's worth my little $40, you feel me? Um, Getting into the second round, um, the nigga, the nigga uh, Geechee gets into some shit. I'm not giving you the balls, ball for ball. Y'all going to watch it. Um, and Geechee gets into some shit like you and uh, Briz came in. <laughs> you and Briz came in at the same time and he went to Cave Gang and I know you you mad because another nigga chose to rock over you saying his mom chose rock now Briz ch choosing rock over him I thought that was dope um, he went into uh, um, a scheme but I don't know if the crowd caught it or they was just dead or they didn't like it I, li I like that he went to a scheme about him uh, going to Hitman Holla as his front man for the strike he said uh, Jew didn't know how much money uh, Holocaust you the, the Holocaust shit was a little more in there It was dope to me I thought it was dope um, Geechee was doing with that but Then he was talking about He brought up that Nika situation He was like uh, Niggas out in the Midwest You know they made you, Niggas out in the shop Made you apologize That you go to straight And you apologize I am gonna believe you stand on the curve When you can't even stand on your word I thought that was fire I thought that was dope to me Um, Good good round uh, Goes back to T-Top he says, uh, <laughs> he says, uh, you know, your wife is out there. Um, you know, she probably had dreams and aspirations of, you know, selling hair, doing a thing. And you stole your wife hustle. And <clears throat> once the hair came in, you was like, oh, this lace front. Like he was, he was on some, you know, T-top. He's a funny dude. Um, then he goes into, uh, the view, he goes into the view angle. Like how many views this is going to get is because of me, not because of you. Like, uh, it's not, uh, it's just, you know, basically I'm helping you out and shit. Like, all, he said, if we wanted to, uh, get stoned in the West, we're going to need a statue. Like, uh, smack propped you up just so you could get smoked and shit. And we had niggas, you all have a presence in URL and shit. 
And then uh that was it was a dope. It was it was all right round for T Top. I edged that round to um Geechee Gotti. So I got it one one going into the third. Let me know how y'all had it. Y'all probably had two. Y'all can have it two one either way this at this point going into the third. Alright, third round. Uh Geechee Gotti. He start talking, you know, Geechee got them third rounds that just like Geechee B dot, they be coming with them third rounds. They students of the game, they be trying to close the show. Uh he started talking that that the real hustle shit. Um uh, you know, talking that shit that no, normally T Top be talking and it uh and it hits hard, but you you know talking some real shit. Nigga said uh niggas uh niggas hit T Top at the crossroads. Uh, you went and see Flesh. All you see is Busy Bone. You know they call him Top Busy. I thought that was a dope line. He said uh his little cuz got hit. He was fifteen. Never had no pussy yet. First time in the funeral home in the casket was the first time he ever was in a box. I thought that was that was real hard. That was dope. And he and you know that he he was just saying that real shit. He was like, yo, we only know niggas by the street name. We don't know their government until the until the obituary. Like it was just you know how yo you know how Kishi give it up, man. He, he he gives it a foul and shit. Um, but it was real good round. I, I thought the round was dope. Uh, T Top goes into um. The third round, he goes into like the the the, the history of, of of Crips and. Uh, it was gangs in New York and Chicago before, um, before LA, they was the first people to really start color banging and stuff like that. He, he breaks it down. Then, then he goes into some random punches. It's okay. I, th I thought the, uh, the round was dope. It was a dope round, but at this point it'd go either way. Um, he was getting better reaction. He was uh, kind of swagging more. He was talking that shit, but this round could go either way. I would, I probably, right now, I keep going back and forth on this shit right now. I'm giving a third to, to Geechee, but it's a real debatable battle, man. I, but I think I got a Geechee 2-1. Let me know if I'm tripping. Y'all know y'all niggas be like, yo, tripping, be that, be that battle, nigga. Child was tripping. Like, yo, man, that nigga JC, in the, in the second, he had some heavy hitters at the end, but he coasted through that whole fucking round before he got to his point and shit, and he had better information to beat B Dot on, I found out after the fact in the interview of the battle, and I wish he would have put some of that in this round. But JC and B Dot battle was dope, and this battle was dope. So I guess it's 2020. I got my money's my money's worth and shit, cause I, I'm not gonna do that DNA Diddy Myers battle. I'm not gonna waste my time. I that battle was nasty to me. Like I thought, I thought DNA had a, I thought DNA approach in the first was alright. He was like on some super lyrical miracle shit, and. And Danny was okay. He had some shit that hit hard, didn't hit hard. But I, I gave Danny the first. Fuck it, let me do it real quick. I gave, I gave Danny the first. Then uh, fucking DNA starts freestyling the second, which they, in his mind, he must feel like he's losing. So he's going to freestyle a bottle, three of them things that was weak, really didn't hit. Danny was okay. I guess I give Danny the second. I mean, I, I don't. And then the third, um, DNA took a good angle as far as. Uh, with the my, uh, Maya's uh, baby moms is a dope fiend and all that shit. And they're like, yo, just keep your kids out the kitchen. When she cooking dope, she don't got to see mom cooking the sugar. Like, it, it was a dope angle. But then it goes left in the second half of the round. And Danny was spitting some shit. Like, spitting just random. He spitting some shit. It was all right. I mean, I'm, I, I don't know. Y'all watch the shit. Y'all let me know who won. I, I guess DNA 2-1. I, I don't know, man. Uh, that battle was nasty, man. Um... And uh, Jay Mills just dropped the blog on RBE. I know, fuck, I'm all over the place. Jay Mills just dropped the blog on RBE, you know, talking his shit back to K-Shine. After K-Shine went through Harlem looking for Jay Mills, asking anybody, has they seen Jay Mills? And shit, and everybody in the hood was like, nah, we ain't seen the nigga, we ain't seen the nigga, like, the nigga don't come back home type shit. Uh, Jay Mills, like, he's amped up for this battle, and... uh. It's gonna be it's gonna be good because J Mills is a get in your face nigga. So let's let's see. This is gonna be a good battle. I'm gonna pay my money. Fuck it. I wanna see this battle. And uh let me know what y'all niggas think, man. Do y'all uh, let me know what y'all niggas think. 20 minute shootout, the council, less life underscore child. Bow.